This is Luke from Emo Electric, and we're here today to talk about solar charging with the ePropulsion e-light. So we're going to test this out, see how long it takes to charge the e-light with the solar charge controller, uh, and tell you a little bit about the charge controller itself. So in the box, you get a few things. Uh, the charge controller itself, see on one end plugs into your e-light, the other end standard MC4 connectors. But what a lot of people don't realize is you also get this adapter cable with MC4 connectors on one end and a 12 volt socket on the other end. And that allows you to not only use the charge controller to charge your e-light with solar, but also uh, with a 12 volt outlet. So if you're between the 12 volt charger and the solar charge controller, we recommend getting this one. And that way you have both. Uh, you have the ability to charge with both um, solar and 12 volt. Uh, you also get this little tool that makes popping these MC4 connectors off a lot easier. Uh, and then you also have the user manual for the charge controller. And in this, it'll give you the specs for the charge controller itself. Probably hard to see from there, but we have a photo of this uh, on the product page on our website for the charge controller. And you can use those, um, you can use that data to figure out what kind of solar panel you need. Um, essentially, the max that an e-light can handle is generally a 100 watt panel. That's what we have sitting here. We recommend getting a 100 watt panel because that's what will charge the e-light the fastest. So uh, if you don't want to deal with specking those panels out yourself, we sell kits for the e-light charge controller uh, that comes with the charge controller and a solar panel, either a hard panel like the one on the table here, a flexible panel, or a portable panel that folds and is easy to move around. So take a look at those if you're interested in getting a kit. Uh, and now we're going to get all of this hooked up in the sun and let it sit for an hour and see uh, what sort of charging we get uh, over the course of an hour for the e-light. All right, so we just let everything sit for an hour. You can see our panel is connected to our charge controller, which is connected to our e-light. Before we talk about the results here, I just want to remind you guys that subscribing to this channel helps us make these videos, helps us make them possible. So if you're interested in e-propulsion, anything electric outboards, please click the subscribe button below. Um, but getting back to it here, uh, we're going to unplug our e-light from the charge controller. And then I'm just going to press the button here and we're at 81%. So when we started this process an hour ago, we we're actually at 61%. So with a hundred watt panel over the course of an hour, we added 20% to the state of charge of our e-light. So we'd expect it to take about five hours to fully charge the e-light with a hundred watt panel. Now there are a few important things to keep in mind there. Um, one is that how efficient these panels are varies from panel to panel. Um, so this 100 watt panel isn't exactly the same as every other 100 watt panel. This one's relatively new, so it should be quite, quite efficient. Uh, and generally speaking, uh, portable panels and flexible panels aren't quite as efficient as rigid panels, uh, but which one you need kind of depends on, on your setup. The other thing worth pointing out is that this solar panel is just kind of leaned up on a crate here. It's angled at the sun. That makes a big difference as well. If we had left this flat on the ground, we certainly would have gotten less than uh, 20%. So keep in mind, you know, this is, is not theoretical. Those are real numbers that we just got. But if you're leaving your boat on a mooring, uh, there's no way that your solar panel is always going to be pointing at the sun. Um, so worth uh, leaving a bit of margin for error there when you're thinking about the charge times. So we hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, if you'd like to purchase this charge controller or the kit with a solar panel, head over to our online store. And if you have any questions on charging an e-light with solar, please leave a comment below.